as it were. Mm. We're entertaining uh, the president of the football club and his wife, Joan, was her name, what was his name. She subsequently died and he remarried a young chick. Um, anyhow, we'd, we'd had a very pleasant dinner and a bottle of wine between a lot of us and um, we were farewelling them. Funny, he thought I'd, it was just before the grand final, he thought I'd invited them for dinner so that I could con him into giving me tickets for the bloody grand final. Mm -hmm. Anyhow, um, as we were showing and seeing them off, he got out of the car again and he came over and he said, Mel, would you like some tickets for the grand final? I said, oh, no, thanks very much. Uh, I never go to the football. And he looked shocked and amazed. <laughs> he was president of the local footy club. So he got back in and off they drove. And while we were standing there, I looked up in the sky and I saw a light moving from west to east. Mm -hmm. Very high, moving very steadily in a fair pace, you know, for the distance up it was. And then when it got almost due south of us, it stopped or seemed to stop. Then we realised that it hadn't stopped, it had made a right, right hand turn and went out. Mm. And kept going out and out and out until it disappeared. Now, that could only have been a UFO. I've seen those things a few times, fishing. I regularly see s satellites go around. Like you can see one every few minutes nowadays. Yeah, in a really dark sky. But they don't go. I've actually seen things change direction, I couldn't work out why. Oh, surely. I have, and, I, and, I'm, and I've seen it often enough. And it's all this business that it's looking over something and buzzing around. And I, I'm totally bamboozled as to why, when it, usually you've seen it go straight line for quite a while, then it does think. Now, that's what people normally say is a USO when they do that. Yeah, but it's in orbit, a uh, mm. satellite is in yeah, orbit. I don't, but I, I don't understand whether it gets close to the horizon or something else, but I've, I appear to have seen them change direction. Yeah, well, this would it change direction at right angles? Yeah. Would it suddenly veer? 90 degrees out. Well, I'm not sure if it's light or something else that does that thing. Well, this was mm. definitely an object that was flying and it was bright. Mm. It be brighter than a star because it stood out. And as it came steadily across and then seemed to stop, and then after a while I said, bloody thing stopped. Mm. And then we realised that it got dimmer and dimmer, it was going straight out. Mm. Now that couldn't have been a satellite. So satellite you're not thinking of a plane with a reflection on it or...? Oh, well it was going very fast for a mm. plane. Um, no, I, well, if it were a plane, it's a flying object, isn't yeah. it? And we couldn't identify it as uh, a yeah. UFO, whichever way you look at it. But I never ever reported it because I thought people would say, oh, you'd have too much to drink. Mm. You know, yeah, nah. So I, we... I kept quiet about it, told a few people that to me it was an amazing sight because the trajectory was very steady, mm -hmm. very straight. And I, thought, I said to Mum, that, that must be a satellite. I well, don't it's know. Not, what it's, it's not a um, meteor, obviously, because it uh, obviously expires and oh, not that. Meteor, meteor mm -hmm. I would come down to earth. Um, now, this is definitely a flying object and I can still visualise it and when it got due south of us or approximately due south and it stopped I said hey the bloody thing stopped mm -hmm. and then it got dimmer and dimmer and dimmer and we realised it was going straight out so when would that have been? Mm -hmm. how long ago was that? oh 70, late 70s so roughly 30 years ago mm -hmm. um, and that was, in, that was at Drum Condry you saw that? No, 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 no. no. Murchison Court. Murchison Court. Yeah. Well, you've got more light there too. When I used to fish on Lighthouse Beach further down at night, you realise that lots of nights you probably see 50 or 70 meteors. Yeah. And we talked about showers, but in the real dark there, I presume they're all dust. But I certainly saw some where you saw a strong meteor, then I think it actually broke up or something and you saw things <coughs> shooting off at, yeah. at angles oh, where yeah. I think it broke up or a bit of space junk or something like that. Mm. There's a nice series about one of the uh, destroyers or things where uh, I was reading a book about the guys on watch um, all very nervous during the Second World War heading into the Mediterranean 
then the, lot, then the observer spotted something in the distance and they opened up all the Bofors and ACAC guns and everything on this plane coming in till eventually the captain worked out it was Venus they were shooting at that had come <laughs> up through the uh, thing and um, they obviously logged it in their book because they'd used an enormous amount of ammunition on their first contact with the enemy thinking it was a spotter plane but it was <laughs> until, until nothing happened to it because it was Venus yeah. <laughs>